Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very special one for me because um, it's a Black Friday haul video. I absolutely love watching Black Friday haul videos on YouTube and my friends love them too so I really wanted to make this one. So let's jump right in. Okay, first we have the shipment from Glow Recipe. Let's see. Oh, they gave me a free um, Blueberry Bounce General Cleanser. And what else? An avocado eye cream. Yay! Ooh, more stuff falling out. Okay, what is this? This is the pink juice moisturizer. Let's open it up. Ooh. Oops. Too much excitement. I wanted a new moisturizer, so I thought, why not try this rest glow recipe? This is the Let It Glow kit. It comes with a cleanser, a watermelon glow sleeping mask, a watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer this one retails for $48 I got this for $39 next up is this package from Sephora so what did I buy from Sephora this is a Sandy Riley lactic acid and cleanser so I've heard really good reviews about the Sandy Riley lactic acid from my friends so I wanted to try this out and then we have okay there was no deal on this one but I really wanted to try this it's the Olaplex uh, hair perfector number three and um, obviously from Sephora when you order something you get a lot of goodies this is one this is the BB Bumble and Bumble hairdressers invisible oil I also got a sample bag from Sephora Let's open it up this is a mascara from milk makeup and then, oh Kiehl's ultra facial cream I always wanted to try this one so yay next up is the verb ghost mask hmm. it's for deep conditioning excited to try that too then a couple of sachets. I don't really care about these sachet stuff. I rarely try them. Now, I feel the product size in this is like, in the sachets is usually way too small. It usually runs out in a couple of days, like one or two days, that's it. So how are you supposed to notice any change? This is also another moisturizer from Drunk Elephant. Okay. Then, ah. Oh, a liquid lipstick from Anastasia in the shade Crush. Let me see this one. Um, I think this this might be way too light for me. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see about that. Next is hydrating jelly from Clinique. What is a hydrating jelly? I guess it's a moisturizer. Okay, that is it from Sephora. Okay, next up we have a very unique product. The company is called Vasanti Cosmetics and um, I happened to see ads on Instagram about their concealer. They just have this one shade of concealer. It color corrects and it conceals and it's perfect for warm to medium skin tone. So I really wanted to try it. Plus, my mom's name is Vasanti and I was very intrigued about this brand and I wanted to support them. Let's open it up. This is their color correcting concealer. I'll surely try it out and post a review. But this is something I'm really excited to try. It has a little brush applicator. But I'm really curious as to how one shade can be used for so many different skin tones. I always find it hard to find a very good concealer. In spite of doing shade match, in spite of having somebody help me out at Sephora. But, so this will be an interesting product to try. 
Okay, then I got these from M Cosmetics. This one took the longest to get here. It took like 10 days for shipping, but um, this is something I was really looking forward to. I always wanted to buy something from M Cosmetics. I absolutely love Michelle Fan and I've watched all her videos and I'm a big fan of the work she does. So I really wanted to try out some of the cosmetics from her brand because uh, the speciality of her brand is that all her makeup is infused with skincare ingredients. So this blush that I got, this one is the Sunset Sky Blush. So this blush not only hydrates your skin and gives you antioxidants, it also gives a soft corally pink color. Okay. Oh, how cute it is. Look at that. So pretty. I'm really excited to try this one because I think it would be perfect for dry skin. And I have dry skin and it's winter and it's getting drier. So this must be perfect for winter. Then I ordered um, their Infinite Lip Cloud. It's a liquid lipstick. And I've seen uh, Michelle Fon wear the shade Magic R. Okay. Ah, oh, it smells so good. It's a very creamy, rich formula. That's a shade. Yay. So that was all the things that I bought online. And then on Black Friday night, um, I thought, okay, this is it. End of shopping. I'm not going to go crazy. But then we ended up going out to the mall. And I had to go to the Max store. I needed a new foundation for my upcoming dance performance. And I ended up buying some other stuff too. So next up is MAC. The first thing I got was this face and body foundation from MAC. It's a very lightweight and hydrating foundation. And I absolutely loved it when I tried it on there. This is my current favorite foundation. I love how easy it is to apply. You just, you can use your fingers, you can use a brush. A sponge might not be a good idea because the sponge will absorb the product. It's very liquidy. My shade is C5. Obviously, I wanted to get a matching concealer. This is their Studio Fix Concealer. I got it in the shade NW35. And then I got some lipsticks and uh, lip liner. They had a deal on lipsticks that day. And I just got two lipsticks and a lip liner. Now this particular lip liner is uh, in the shade Soar. It's like a very nice mauve shade. Very flattering for Indian skin tones. Just swatch it out. This mauve shade. And I got this uh, MAC lipstick in the shade Runway Hit. I saw a video in which Nora Fatehi mentioned uh, this particular shade called runway hit it took her 10 years to find this shade so i was curious i really wanted to see what's the big deal about this one i think i bought everything in the same family everything looks mauve to me now the next lipstick i got is also a mauve <laughs> it's a shade called meher Yeah, this looks more like the lip liner I got. The shade Soar. Meher looks very close to that. So, I absolutely love mauve lipsticks. My friends keep telling me to please buy other shades like pinks and reds too. But then I don't know. I keep gravitating towards mauves. So, <laughs> some more mauves. Okay, this one I got from Target. I think it's their holiday special day. I mean, you always need good sponges, right? And these are like different sizes and shapes. So I do have a beauty blender, which I love. I hope this is as soft and nice too. Okay, then I went to Forever 21 just to look around. I really didn't need anything from there, but then it's one of my favorite stores. So I just peeped in for a bit and I got um, some accessories. I got some earrings. Actually, I've seen these kind of earrings in a couple of Korean dramas. So I wanted to see how they look. And this one. 
of course some shades that's it from forever 21 like i said it was very short was it i just peeped in for like five minutes it was time to head home but i also went into invine c and i got this amazing leather jacket it reminds me of elena gilbert from vampire diaries so this was purely an impulse buy i wasn't planning to get jackets that day but when i saw this jacket there i was like love it first sight i need this in my life and uh, they had an amazing deal this one is uh, 90 bucks i got it for 30 so it's like a really good deal i absolutely love shopping that store because it's so colorful you get dresses in every color and they have matching accessories as well so if you haven't checked it out do check it out it's an amazing store so that's about it these are all the stuff i got i hope you enjoyed watching this video do like share comment subscribe and let me know what did you get for black friday did you stay at home or did you go shopping did you get any good deals see you in the next one bye is it the same shape mm. <laughs>